Thanks okay. for late. So what is that? Okay, so it was started by two beautiful people, well-renowned artists in the 70s in Haiti, and they kind of went to Kinskov and the surrounding areas of the capital to uh, better understand what is a Haitian aesthetic, like a, per like a Haitian aesthetic from a Haitian perspective. What they did went alongside ideas of revolution, alongside ideas of we're not going to feed people that don't care about us. We're not going to grow vegetables for people that don't care about us at all. We're not going to paint, uh, build, no. We're going to make art for ourselves for five years. And they had, the, they had the resources to do that. And what happened was, you know, they realized that they were on the same page and they went from sculpting to drumming to painting together. And they kind of switched you know, and finished each other's paintings, finished each other's sculptures and songs. And what came out of it was the original saint Soleil school. And it was a pantheon of uh, Haitian vodou. It was a representation of the artist's livelihoods. And their livelihoods were so interconnected that when they painted, they were already on the same page. Over time, it kind of grew, right, as, as a beautiful art movement should. This piece right here is entitled Mouvement des Anciens, and it means movements of the elders. And it amazes me, right? Every time I look at it, I see something new. When I see the faces themselves, I think of Tiga, which is a famous Haitian painter who does work with uh, the sun, literally with the sun. Like, he asks the sun to paint with him. Like, come on. Like, if there's not a better metaphor for sustainability, I don't know what is. Vodou is, is a very tactile religion because people dance together. And I think this idea of movement that we see, for example, in hip hop in America, is very similar in Haiti to where the sound of the drum is making you move. It's making you paint and it's making you sculpt. And um, I, I, I don't know if they would sound the same here, right? Because they say that the spirits that are in Haiti, they don't cross the waters anymore. They came once, they're not going back. The movement itself is one of farmers, masons, painters, and, and, and people that are connected with the fishermen, people that are connected with the, with the land, that took their skill and said, we're not going to just give that to the wealthy. We're going to keep it, right? And they made art together. And they taught their kids how to make art. And I, I, it's a beautiful story. Going back there now and seeing the tombstones of the artists themselves that started it, there's like paintings all over the walls for like miles like around this like a mile radius around this two tombstones and you see artwork it, it's, it's just a beautiful thing to witness and I, I hope that more people can witness it either by joining us on a learning journey to Haiti or helping us get the artists to come to Charlottesville.